Greetings, it is Max so Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to Bugev A in your coursework. And today we're here with another music tutorial. So, I've made a couple of music tutorials before, and people have been having issues with them in newer versions of Java. So, I'm going to be making a tutorial for those people, but also for you guys who have used my previous ones, because this is a much better method for playing audio, it's better documented, there's more functionality, and more people know about it. So, let's get right into it. So, I have two classes, Loop Music Java and Music Stuff Java. Uh, this is the main class, this is going to be a class to handle all my music stuff. Also, we have got a sound file. And the sound file should be here. It's called Epic Sound, and let's play a bit of it. Attention all TikTok fans. I understand you have a big question. Why do good girls like bad guys? All right, I have the answer. But first, I need the 16 numbers on your credit card. Three friggin' number, wacky numbers on the back, and the expiration month and year. But hurry. Um, my mom's coming up to my room, and she doesn't like it when I talk to strangers on the internet. So, I will use the money to move out of this hellhole. So, cough it up. Attention all... So, we're going to be using the help of VoiceOver Pete to demonstrate to you how to play music. So, let's get right into it. So, in our music class, we want to create a method. So, we'll do void play music string music location so we're going to be passing the string and it's going to be called music location now we want to do a try catch so we'll do try catch exception ex and not ex that's not how you spell exception but anyway What's going on here? Basically, we're using the exception ex as opposed to exception e because we can do ex dot print stack trace. So, what does print stack trace do? Basically, it prints out the actual error message, which is really handy for debugging. Usually, we just print out an error message like error, but here we're going to be printing out the actual error message to make debugging a lot easier. So, inside the actual try part, what we're going to do is we're going to do file. If I can type it, file music path equals new file music location. So basically, we're creating a file object and it's going to have the file path of music location, which is the string we're going to be passing into the play music method. We need to fix the imports to import the Java IO file import library. Now we need to do if music path dot exists. This is just checking if the file exists as we don't want to bother trying to play something which doesn't exist. So we can do else and we can do system dot out dot println can't find file and we can give the user a more detailed error message as opposed to just the word error if it fails so now inside if the music path does exist because the audio file is clearly there we can play from it like we want to we can do audio input stream audio input equals all audio system dot get audio input stream music path so we need to right click and fix the audio input stream library so what's going on here basically we're creating a, an object which is going to be responsible for bringing the music from the file to our java program we've called it audio input and what we have to pass in is the file path object we created because we can't just path, pass in a string because that doesn't work now we need to do clip, clip equals audio system with a capital S and a lowercase u, by the way, dot get clip. 
imports and we need to right click on clip and fix imports. We're going to be using the clip class to play music because this gives so much functionality. So basically our clip object is just going to get the audio stream from our audio input object which gets the audio file from music path the file object and we can locate the music path file object by passing in a file path as a form of a string. It's a lot of like Chinese whispers but the integrity of the data is consistent and doesn't degrade with each passing on, which is a good thing. Now we need to do clip.start. This basically starts to play audio. So, in theory, this should all work. Well, it should work, and we're going to try and call it. So, we need to go back to our main class, and we need to do... We need to firstly create an instance of our class, which has all the audio stuff in it. And now we need to do music ob object dot play music file path. So we are referencing the class and referencing the method. Then we're going to be passing the file path, which is epic sound dot wav, which will pass in voice over Pete telling people about TikTok and asking for their credit card details because that's a nice thing to do. So what happens if we click play? Well, the program did build successfully, so clearly there wasn't an error. However, the clip class, it creates a separate thread known as a daemon thread, which stops before the audio can actually be played. So basically, the clip object we create kills itself before it has a chance to actually play any music, and we need to stop it from killing itself. So aside from just saying, oh, you've got a lot to live for, we can simply do j option pane dot show message dialog with a, with a lowercase i. We can do null and press OK to stop playing. Need to right click to fix the imports. So what's going on here? Basically, we're going to stop the thread from killing itself by putting in like an interrupt. Basically, this J option pane line of code won't finish executing until we press OK or X. So if we do it again. And it doesn't work. And I'll tell you why, guys, it doesn't work. Because I actually forgot to do something. So before clip.start, we want to do clip.open. And then we need to put in audio input. So you might be like, wait, Max, why have you made two errors? Well, I made two errors to, to basically demonstrate two common mistakes that can be made. People sometimes forget to open the clip and also forget to put in something to stop the clip thread from killing itself or basically terminating. So now if we click play. Attention all TikTok fans. I understand you have a big question. Why do good girls? As you can see, once you click OK, the music stops. That's exactly what we want. Now, we want to show you how to loop audio. And it's actually really simple. Underneath clip.start, we do clip.loop. And then in here, we put clip.loop underscore continuously. Basically, what this does is just tell it to keep looping forever until we want it to stop. So let's show you how it works. Attention all TikTok fans. I understand you have a big question. Why do good girls like bad guys? All right, I have the answer. But first, I need the 16 numbers on your credit card. Three friggin' number, wacky numbers on the back and the expiration month and year. But hurry. Um, my mom's coming up to my room, and she doesn't like it when I talk to strangers on the internet. So, I will use the money to move out of this hellhole. So, cough it up. Attention all TikTok fans. I understand you. As you can see, the music did continue to loop until I clicked OK to stop it. So, we're going to show you two more things, and that is how to pause and resume like your audio. So let's say you want to pause it to go to the toilet for, and you couldn't bring like your audio playing device with you. You're going to know how to do that so you don't miss your favorite song or a certain part of your favorite song. So what we're going to do is 
we are actually going to put in another G option pane message just to show the functionality. We're going to be doing hit OK to pause. And basically what we need to do is we need to firstly create a long variable called clip time position. Or well, it could be anything you want, but this is actually a very good name, accurate to the functionality this variable will be doing. Then we do equals clip dot get microsecond position. This gets where we are in the audio file we're playing in terms of like the time position. Then we do clip clip dot stop. No, clip dot stop. That just stops the audio and that's it. So you can do hit OK to pause. Once you do that, we basically get the position in the audio we're at and we stop playing the clip. Now we need to have another Joption Pain message. This Joption Pain message can be Joption message dialog. Hit OK to resume. And to resume, we do some simple, simple code. We basically do clip dot set microsecond position, clip time position. Basically, this function jumps to a certain time position in the audio we're playing. And before we collected where we want the time position before we stopped playing, so we're going to jump to where we stopped originally and then start playing the audio from that position, giving the effect of pausing and resuming from where we left off. And then we can do press OK to stop playing. This code works if we're looping the music or not looping the music. So let's go and try it out. Attention all TikTok fans. As you can see, we stopped the audio. And he just said, attention all TikTok fang fans. Oh my god, I can't talk. If we click OK again. I understand you have a big question. As Why do good girls? As you can see, after we hit OK again to resume where we went off, he was saying, now I know you have a question. Why do girls fall for bad guys? Because they want someone who's confident and not someone who's shy and just won't like take risks, you know? That, that's what they want. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. That's, what, that's all for this tutorial, but sure to leave a like and a comment. Hopefully this fixes all the issues you guys have been having if you're on a recent version of Java. Thanks a lot for being a great audience, so be sure to subscribe. I will be posting more, and thanks for being a great audience.